Greetings, my dear sparkling stars. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. This is Atul, your educator, welcoming you all to Silverline Books by Turning Point Publishing House. And we are taking up My Green World for class 2. And we are on to unit number 3, that is Life Around Us. And we are taking up the next chapter of this unit, that is chapter number 9, Animal Kingdom, right? In our previous chapter, we studied about the plant kingdom. And today, we are going to be studying about the animal kingdom, right? There are so many animals you see around you. There are animals that live in forests also that cannot live around you. But you will see that these animals also, right? They are useful to us in so many ways how they help us, right? Different kinds of animals, how they are useful to us. That all we are going to study in this chapter. So ready to begin? Great. So children, there are different types of animals. These are animals have types. Different animals live in different places. Kuch animals farms par hain. Kuch animals ko hum apne ghar par rakhte hain. Kuch animals forest mein, jungle mein rehte hain, right? So, some live in forest while some are kept at farms. Some animals live with us at our homes as pets. Kuch animals ko hum, you know, apne ghar par rakhte hain as our pet animals, okay? So, let's talk about domestic animals first. Some animals like dogs, cows and horses live in our houses or on the farm. So, kuch animals hote hain, jaise ki dogs ho gaye, cows ho gaye, horses ho gaye, right, hens ho gaye, unhe hum kaha rakhte hain? They uh, either they live in our houses, ya to wo humare ghar par rakhte hain hum, ya fir in animals ko hum farms pe bhi rakhte hain, right, farm houses. They are called domestic animals. We play with domestic animals. Hum kya kya karte hain domestic animals ke saath? Hum in animals ke saath khelte hain. Hume maza aata hai in animals ke saath khelne mein. Domestic animals are useful to us in many ways. We keep some of them to play with. Kuch animals ko to hum ghar par rakhte hain. Apne saath khelne ke liye, right? They are called pet animals. So, ऐसे type of animals जिनको हम अपने घर पर खेलने के लिए उनसे मस्ती करने के लिए रखते हैं they are known as pet animals we keep dogs cats rabbits parrots and pigeons as pets so most common animals कौन से हैं जिन्हें हम अपने घर पर as pets रखते हैं dogs cats rabbits parrots pigeons right Now we feel safe with domestic animals. Kuch animals aise hote hain jo humari protection karte hain. Hum unke saath safe feel karte hain. Jaise ki dogs. Dogs kya karte hain? Dogs guard our places. Dogs jo hote hain wo humare ghar ki suraksha karte hain. Dekh phal karte hain. They guard our house. Or cats kya karte hain? Cats keep away the rats which destroy our things. Rats jo hote hain. वो क्या करते हैं हमारे फूड को खा जाते हैं चीजें खराब करते हैं सो so, उनको भगाने के लिए हम कैट्स रखते हैं राइट right? सो so, ये एनिमल्स जो हैं इनके साथ हम सेफ भी फील करते हैं राइट right? हम इनके साथ खेलते हैं हम इनके साथ सेफ फील करते हैं वी यूज डोमेस्टिक एनिमल्स फॉर कैरिंग लोड्स कुछ एनिमल्स ऐसे होते हैं जिनके जो हमें हेल्प करते हैं heavy saman ko lift karne mein, right? Suppose we have to take some heavy load from one place to another. So, for that we use certain animals like donkeys. So, donkeys carry load on their back. Apne back par, wo jo heavy load hai, usko lekar, apne saath lekar, wo dousi jagah par chhod kar aate hai. We ride on horses, aur jo horses hai, un par hum horse riding karte hai. Elephants carry heavy logs of wood in their trunks. You see, these logs of wood, bari bari, jo wood ki trunks hoti hai, bari bari logs hoti hai unke, they are very heavy to lift. So, unko kaun lift karta hai? Elephants. So, yeh elephants hoti hai, un logs ko lift karke, they help in loading into the trunks, right? So, 
Elephants carry heavy logs of wood in their trunks and load them in the vehicle or they carry that also to some distance. So, these domestic animals, they are used for carrying loads. Now, a small activity for you children. Discuss any three things with your friends that we should do to keep our pets healthy and safe. We have pets ko safe or healthy rakhne ke liye aisi kaun si teen cheeze karne chahiye. This you can discuss with your friends. So, do you know what all can be done? First of all, we must take care of their food, right? We should give them healthy food. We should get them vaccinated. We should bathe them regularly. We should keep them clean, right? So, the, so there are several other ways by which you can keep your pets healthy and safe. Discuss that with your friend, right? So, animals like horses, bullocks, camel and buffaloes pull the carts. What carts are these? We can take them to the logo from one place to another place or if there is any of your equipment. वो भी लेकर जाते हैं। तो इनको कौन से एनिमल्स हैं जो पुल करते हैं? हॉर्स कार्ट्स होती हैं, बुलक कार्ट्स आर देयर, देन देयर आर कैमल्स हु पुल द कार्ट्स, बफेलोस आर आल्सो देयर, राइट? सो दिस एनिमल्स पुल कार्ट्स फॉर अस। वी गेट मिल्क फ्रॉम सम डोमेस्टिक एनिमल्स ऑफ वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट थ वो हमें कहाँ से मिलता है? एनिमल्स से मिलता है। एनिमल्स लाइक काउस, बफेलोस, गोट्स एंड इवन कैमल्स, राइट? देयर मिल्क इज वेरी थिक, राइट? सो ऑल दिस एनिमल्स दे गिव अस मिल्क। और मिल्क से हम क्या करते हैं? वी मेक आइसक्रीम, कर्ड, चीज एंड बटर फ्रॉम मिल्क। मिल्क से हम आइसक्रीम्स बनाते हैं, दही जो हम we get butter, we get ghee, we get cheese, all that comes from the animal milk. We get fuel and manure from domestic animals, right? So, we fuel bhi milta hai. Fuel as in, jo gober ke uple hote hai, right? What is dung? Dung of animals is known as the poop. What is poop of the animals? Dung, right? So, this might sound yucky to you children, but dung of the animals is a very useful manure. It is used to make fertilizers for the plants. Isse plants ko nutrition milta hai, right? And also, these dung cakes, when they are dried, they are used as a fuel for cooking, right? Dung of ten animals is used as a cooking gas and as manure. Manure hoti hai khad. जो हम प्लांट्स में डालते हैं, राइट? जिससे कि उनको प्रॉपर न्यूट्रिशन मिल सके। एंड इनको जब हम ड्राई कर कर, यू नो काउ डंग केक्स को या बफलो डंग केक्स को, जब हम ड्राई कर कर उन्हें बर्न करते हैं, देन इट इज़ यूज्ड एस अ कुकिंग गैस, राइट? सो सो मेनी थिंग्स यू सी, वी गेट फ्रॉम दिस Silk and leather from domestic animals. क्या क्या मिलता है हमें इन animals से? Wool मिलती है. Wool से हम क्या करते हैं? अपनी woolen clothes बनाते हैं. That we wear in winter season to keep us warm. So we get wool from sheep's hair. हमें ये wool कहाँ से मिलती है? जो ये sheep होती हैं, उनके जो hair होते हैं, उनसे मिलती है हमें wool. And we we woolen clothes from wool threads. In wool fibers जो हमें इनसे मिलती हैं, इनसे हम threads बनाते हैं. Threads को weave करके हम woolen clothes बनाते हैं, right? And when do we wear woolen clothes? We wear them in winter season to keep us warm. अपने आप को गर्म रखने के लिए हम woolen clothes पहनते हैं. You all know that, right? Good children. Now there are silkworms. Silkworms होते हैं, उनसे हमें क्या मिलता है? They produce silk to form a cocoon. Now what is a cocoon, children? Cocoon, जो silkworms होते हैं ना, वो अपने around एक protective casing सी बनाते हैं, right? जिस जो silk की बनती है, उससे क्या करा जाता है? We get a fine soft thread known as silk from the cocoon of the silkworm. But the sad thing is, 
for obtaining that thread, that silk thread, the silk worm has to be killed. So silk to hai, usko lene ke liye silk ka jo cloth hai, it is made from silk worms which are killed to obtain the silk fibers. So silk worms produce silk to form a cocoon and it is a fine soft thread. People kill the silk worms and get silk. So we should be using, we should try to use less of these uh, silk based uh, clothes. Skin of dead animals is used to make shoes and bags. Or kuch dead animals ki jo skin hai, right? Usse banta hai leather. Leather kya hota hai? Wo skin hoti hai kuch animals ki jisse shoes and bags banai jate hai, right? We get honey and wax from honeybees. Ab honeybees jo hoti hai, madhu makhiya, unse hume kya milta hai? Unka jo beehive hota hai, unse kandar ek liquid hota hai, that is honey. Jo hum shahar pite hai, that is made by the honeybees. And jo unka hive hota hai, that is made from wax. So we get two things from honeybees, wax and honey. So honeybees, Suck the nectar from the flowers. Honeybees kya karti hai? Flowers mein se nectar suck karti hai. And they produce a liquid in their hives. Using that nectar, wo apna jo madhu makhi ka jo chhatta, jise kehte hai, hive jo hota hai uska, uske andar ja kar ek liquid produce karti hai using that nectar. And that liquid is known as honey, jise hum honey ke naam se jaante hai. Their hives or उनके जो hives होते हैं, जो उनके छत्ते होते हैं, they are made of wax. वो wax से बने होते हैं. People drive off the bees and get honey and wax. तो लोग क्या करते हैं? उन मधुमक्खियों को, उन honey bees को वहाँ से भगा देते हैं. They produce some smoke. कुछ smoke लेकर आते हैं वहाँ पर पैदा करते हैं. Fire लगाकर जिससे सारी की सारी जो honey bees हैं, वो वहाँ से दूर चली जाती हैं. And people extract the beehives, उसके अंदर से honey extract कर लेते हैं and they use the hives to make wax, right? We get eggs and flesh from animals, so animals से उनके eggs भी लिए जाते हैं, right? Hen के eggs हम normally खाते हैं और उनका skin, उनका flesh भी खाया जाता है as meat, right? So we get eggs and flesh from the animals, clear? So I hope you have understood the various ways in which these animals are useful to us and they help us, right? So let's begin with our exercise, children. Circle the correct word. The dash guards our home. Konsa animal hamare houses ko guard karta hai? Yes, dog. Number two, the sheep gives us silk. और वूल शीप हमें क्या देती है सिल्क या वूल यस इट गिव्स अस वूल डंग और लेदर इज यूज्ड एज मैन्योर सो व्हाट इज यूज्ड एज मैन्योर डंग और लेदर एग्जैक्टली द डंग ऑफ एनिमल्स द पूप ऑफ एनिमल्स नंबर 4 द डैश कैरीज आवर लोड हमारा हेवी सामान कौन उठाते हैं डोंकीज और डॉग्स Yes, donkey. Number five, the goat gives us milk or silk. Yes, they give us milk. Clear? Now, number B part says, take the animals whom we can live with. In this, which kind of animals are there with which we can live with? So, this is a sheep. Can you live with the sheep? Yes, they are domestic animals. We can easily live with them. Can you live with a tiger, children? No, it's a very dangerous and a ferocious animal. You cannot live with them. So they live in forest. No. Then it's a bear. Can you live with a bear? No, it is also a very dangerous animal. You cannot live with it. Then we have hen. Yes, hens can be lift with. Take it. Clear? Let's see the next part. Fill in the blanks with the words given in the box. Some clues 
are given here, we have to use them to fill in our blanks. Number one, the bullock pulls the bullock. जो है वो क्या pull करती है? Carts pull करते हैं, right? जिन्हें buggy कहा जाता है, right? So number two says the dash guards our home. हमारा घर कौन guard करते हैं? Dogs, right? So the dog guards our home. Right. For the let's see the next part. The cat keeps the dash away. So cats कैसे help करते हैं हमारे? They keep the rats away. Right. Number four. Manure is made from dash of animals. Manure किस चीज़ से बनाया जाता है? From the dung of animals. Dung. Number five, we keep dash animals to play with. कौन से animals हम खेलने के लिए रखते हैं अपने घर में? Pet animals. All right, great. Now the next part says answer the following questions. Number one, name the animal that live in a hive. Hive के अंदर कौन सा animal रहता है? Beehive. Sorry, bees. Or we can say honey bees. Honey bees live in a hive. Number two, name two animals that give us milk. So any two animals you can say cow, buffalo. Number three, how do dogs help us? Dogs kaise help karte hain? They guard our house. Understood everyone? Right. Now this is a fun crossword puzzle for us. Are you all ready to solve this one? Right. So here... See, these are all animals given to us. We have to fill in their names in the grid given to us. What are these? These are chicks, right? Hen ke babies hain jinko chicks kehte hain. So let's fill chicks. Right? Then what do you see here? Which animal is this? This is a cow. So C O W cow. Right? Do you know which animal is this? Yes, it's the lion, the king of jungle. Lion. L I O N lion. Then what is this? This is a hen. Hen, right? Which animal is this? This is a sheep. S H double E P sheep. Then last animal is horse. H O R S E horse. Right? So we have solved this grid, right? So with this we come to an end of this chapter, children. I hope you have understood the ways in which these animals are useful to us, how they help us, right? So you should also try and be kind towards them, try to feed them, try to provide shelter to them, right? I'll see you in the next chapter, in my next video. Till then you all stay blessed and keep smiling children. Bye, have a good day.